Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Carolyn. Today we're going to be making my chunky marinara sauce recipe. Now you can find this recipe in my freezer at any given time. I love to just make it ahead of time and then divide it up and freeze it so when I want it I can have it. So we're going to be using this recipe down the line with another dish that we're going to be making. So I figured why not make that a separate video and show you how to make it. You can use this pasta sauce recipe on any kind of pasta you want. You can use it even on lasagna. The reason why I like this recipe is because it's so full of vegetables. So if you're vegetarian, this is for you. Also, I'm going to show you how to cool it. Because I'm always talking about cooling things and internal temperatures. Today, I'm actually going to show you how to do it. So take a look and I hope you like it. Okay guys, let's just get started by cleaning our mushrooms with damp paper towels or damp kitchen towels. See the debris you can pick up on those cremini's? You never want to clean mushrooms by running them under cold water. They're just going to get rubbery and the texture is totally going to change them. So this is always the way you want to clean any of your mushrooms. Mushrooms help add a great meaty texture and flavor to your vegetarian dishes. And then give them a nice chop. Next, we're going to give our garlic a fine mince. Time to get cooking. Let's go down with our extra virgin olive oil over medium high heat. And first, we're going to grab our celery and onions. We want to give those a chance to sweat. And then we're going to give those a stir. And we're going to let those cook until they're nice and soft. Then we're going to follow through with the rest of our vegetables. You're going to see our summer squash going in. Carrots are going to add a nice sweetness, but you don't want them too prominent. That's why they're shredded. We have our zucchini and we have peppers going in. And you just want to stir to make sure the olive oil has coated all of the vegetables. And then we're going to go down with our garlic. Listen to how much fun I was having. Mm, it smells good. <laughs> I told you. Now we're going to go ahead and add our seasonings, our salt, our Grand Diamond all-purpose seasoning, and then our dried thyme, dried oregano, and our optional red pepper flakes. At this point, the smell is so fantastic of those herbs hitting that heat, those vegetables, everything just coming together. The smell is just awesome. Next, we're going to go in with our tomato paste, which is going to offer that deep, rich tomato flavor and help with the thickness. Next, add the tomato sauce. And then here, just before we add the whole peeled tomatoes, I like to give the tomatoes a squish between my hands. If you don't want to do this, you can always use a potato masher, but I just like to squeeze them. And then we're going to go in with our low sodium chicken broth. Remember, for my strict vegetarians, you're going to use a low sodium or a regular vegetable broth instead. Lastly, we're going to go in with a bit of honey. You know, tomatoes are very acidic, so adding a bit of sweetness like honey or agave nectar just balances the sauce out really well. And that's basically it. You're just going to let the sauce simmer for an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. And then you can use the sauce any way you see fit in your favorite Italian dishes. All right, so we've made our marinara sauce and it's time to cool it. The reason why we do this is because we don't want to give that nasty bacteria a chance to grow. Bacteria can unfortunately cause a foodborne illness. So here's an easy method for you to do to cool all of those soups and stews that you make throughout the year. Especially, do you want to use this method on those gumbos? You know, that's a pretty expensive dish. And so when you make a large amount of that, you want to make sure that you cool it properly so that it can last you. Do not let it sit out for hours on end thinking, oh, I'm just going to let it cool. No. If the dish is deep, depending on how much soup, sauce, or stew is in that pot, it's going to take that much longer to cool. By the time the center cools, bacteria will have already been born, bred, multiplied, and giving off waste in that dish, which can make somebody sick 
if it's consumed. So that's why I'm showing you this. You're going to have great dishes and they're going to be safe. So take a look. So go ahead and fill your sink about a third of the way. And then you're going to load up the sink with ice. If you want to go a 50-50 ice to water ratio, that should work. Then you want to start to stir. Moving the sauce around the pot is aiding the cooling process and making it go faster. And if you notice the ice bath level, it's about three quarters of the way of my pot. So that way my product is nice and submerged, it's gonna cool faster. And our goal is to get the product down to about 70 degrees. So if you're thinking this takes some time, you are absolutely right. But trust me, it is well worth it. Now we're gonna take our first temperature read, which is 110. So far the product is coming down, but you gotta keep going. Just keep stirring. Now in the process of cooling, you're gonna lose some of your ice. Some of that ice is gonna melt because the product is still hot. Just put more ice and go back to stirring. By the way, the sauce was four inches deep and it took me anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to get it down to the 70 degrees that we needed. So just imagine how much more time it would take if the product was deeper. It's definitely an investment in time and lots of ice. So now my sauce is ready to be either refrigerated or frozen. Just make sure you're using an airtight container, just like my Tupperware or any other airtight container that you have. Don't forget to date and label the container. And for the chunky marinara sauce recipe, go to gdseasoning.com. We've added two brand new diamonds to the family, our Grand Diamond Mild All-Purpose Seasoning and our Lemon Pepper. Check it out when you get to our website. See you guys next time.